Check it out guys, we are in Tokyo, Japan, and I'm so pumped, we're in a little market, and today we're gonna go for a huge street food adventure. Check it out. This is it, Tokyo. Coming here for the first time is like stepping into a whole new world with new sights, scenes, and tons of delicious street foods you can try. And today, we're eating five amazing street foods in downtown Tokyo and a once-in-a-lifetime Yakuniku experience with insanely perfect Wagyu beef that's worth flying direct to Tokyo solely to eat for. Let's eat. So we are in a local market now, just looking for food. And I think there is a little organ soup joint right up here with yakitori grilled skewers. Let's go take a look. And look at this, guys. I think we just found a beef organ soup. Hi. Konnichiwa. Oh, look at this. Wow. Look what we found here. Iko uh, osusume? Iko osusume. Uh, yakitori. Yakitori osusume. So we're going to get a iko, iko, economy. So that back there, oh look at that. That is organ and tofu stew, I believe. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> Looks amazing. So we're gonna get that and some yakitori. Arigato. And negi, negi greens. Yeah, with negi greens on top. Wow. Look at this, guys. I was wrong, but this is actually Horse organ stew. That is crazy. Look at that. Horse intestine. There's jelly in there. We're gonna have that and then yakitori in the back. We're grilling up yakitori as well. Oh, and he's just putting a little salt on there and we're gonna get a teriyaki soy sauce too. Oh, and there's the teriyaki sauce with soy. Wow. Arigato. Wow! Just look at the beautiful <laughs> classic lunch we've got in Tokyo. So we've got the heart, the intestine, and the tongue. And then we've got a mixed horse organ stew with a bit of tofu. And we're just gonna add a little bit of this chili. Just a bit. There we go. And a bit on the yakitori as well. Let's try out the tongue. Mmm! Oh! Super oshi. <laughs> Wow. And it's all about that teriyaki sauce. It's slightly sweet. Beautiful. Oh, it's sweet. A little tangy, a little salty. Mmm. And those intestines are fantastic. Slightly chewy. And then now we're gonna try, look at that beef organ soup. Oh yeah, stew. And there's a bit of jelly and tofu in there and some negi greens. Oh, look at that. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's just like a hearty, smooth bowl of organ stew. And you get a bit of that negi green, a little bit of onion and, and chili flavor in there as well. Classic. Arigato. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Next up, just a couple steps down in the market, we found some insanely plump oysters you can eat right there on the spot. Look at this, guys. Right up here, I think there's some fresh oysters. Konnichiwa. Kaki. 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 Oh. Oh, fresh oyster. Raw oyster. Iko kaki kudasai. Iko. Oh, look at this, guys. We're getting fresh oysters in the markets of Japan. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Nice. Okay. Arigato. Oh, it's purely loose. Look at that beautiful oyster we got there. Oh, and it's just ready to slide. It's just ready to slide in your mouth. And she just put a little lemon on it. And they've also got, as you can see, lots of different don bowls to try here. You can get salmon egg, you can get uni sea urchin, you can get tons of different types of raw sashimi. But we just saw these oysters. We're gonna try it out. Mmm. Oh. It's just so soft and full of oyster juice. We're gonna have to get one more. We can have with lemon. It's a little lemon, right? Oh, nice. Arigato. It's just, they're just so plump and juicy and they just fill your mouth with this burst of oyster goodness. We had to get another. Mmm. 
Oh, what an awesome start to the day. Great food, and we're gonna go for more. We're just gonna take the subway here and explore. After a quick ride on the subway, we made our way to the ultimate grilled eel joint, downtown Tokyo, where you can order an entire unagi grilled eel over rice. Sweet and heavenly. Look at this, guys. We are at the Sensoji Temple in Asakusa and on the hunt for more food. I think up ahead there is a famous eel rice, unagi rice. This is awesome. It feels so good to be in Japan. Awesome. Wow. I think this is it right here, and there's a big lineup. So we're gonna wait for it and try it out. Oh, fresh unagi. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> it looks awesome. And you can see there's getting that black charriness to it. And look at all of the unagi here. Wow. And we're gonna order up one of those. Just look at that. Right over top of rice. That is unbelievable. That is incredible. Double unagi action. We've been waiting for an hour and the smell is intoxicating. Arigato! Wow! Arigato! Wow, what a beauty! It's an entire eel grilled with a. Oh, it smells like it has a really sweet, sweet glaze on it. Oh, and look at all of the charry, smoky goodness underneath. It looks like it's the perfect texture. Fatty, juicy, succulent, and that glaze on top. This is what I dream about. Let's just cut a big piece off. Isn't that insane? There's also a bit of soy sauce, a bit of chili, a bit of pepper, their specialty sweet soy sauce, and then I believe also some pickled cucumber. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. It's all about the texture. The eel is such a unique texture. It's almost like a little gooey. It has a gooey stickiness to it. Almost like a, a gooey butter that melts in your mouth. And the flavor is sweet and smoky. Oh, just perfect sweetness. It is the ultimate tender, fatty piece of meat. What an awesome unagi rice. And we got lots more to eat today. After that amazingly sweet and smoky and fatty eel, we went for one more snack before going for Wagyu Beef Heaven, a nice big bowl of ramen. Look at this guys, we are right in the back streets of Tokyo now, hunting for ramen. It's gonna be really good. And I think right up here there's a famous beef ramen. Look at this guys. So we've got, oh, this is specialty beef ramen, and they've got a few different specialties, but I think we're just gonna choose the one with roast beef slices. And I think you gotta put the cash in. 1,000. So we're gonna choose this one here. Awesome. Let's try it out. Arigato. Wow, look at that. Arigato. Wow. Look what we got here. We've got four slices of roast beef. Looks delicious. Green onions, and a little bit of bamboo here. And then, oh, it looks like the most rich bowl of beef stock. Wow, look at that. Beef, ramen, local. It's actually very rare to have a beef stock for ramen. It's most commonly pork. Mmm. Oh, mm. I got Oh, wow, it's a super rich roast beef flavor. It's all about that roast beef, really tender. It's just the roast beef and the beef bone aroma is in there. Very nice, very soothing. And you can see they're just putting out bowl after bowl. Mm. 
After that insanely delicious bowl of ramen, we made our way to have the most incredible beef experience. Wagyu beef cooked Yakuniku style over premium coals in downtown Tokyo. The ultimate meat experience. Alright guys, right up here is something I've been looking forward to trying for so long. Wagyu beef Yakuniku. And we have a reservation. We got it through Pocket Concierge. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Thank you to them for helping us get a reservation. Before we knew it, we were sitting down directly in front of Chef Nakahara as he began explaining the beauty of Wagyu beef to us. Whole Wagyu. The whole Wagyu. Of course, uh, it's a very high quality by auction. Every Wagyu have an auction. Oh good. Each uh, one is custom. All they have a name, each name. Really? Yes. All the cows. And all they have license to. When they born, what they eat, who farm, which farm, how long they all the groups, oh. we have a number. Each Wagyu has a number. Wow. To start, we had the most amazing Wagyu tartar, raw beef sashimi with a raw egg, sesame, and a signature sweet glaze. Just look at this. We've got the Wagyu tartar to start. Covered in sesame, a little bit of light soy. There's an egg yolk in there. Mmm. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, it's just bursting. Wow. Oh. Very natural. Very soft. Oh. The part is uh, the one you top side. Top side. Top side. To serve that, uh, we need a license. You need a license? Yes. The raw. This part, here's the tongue. This part is the most inside part. Oh, okay. Thick, thick one. This one is the tip of the tongue. This one, don't know the name, but underneath. Oh, underneath the tongue. Yes. So three parts. Each part has a, each flavor, each uh, the different texture. Okay. Wow, that looks incredible. Oh, that's the Wagyu tongue. Wow. Look at that. That just looks insane. Oh, it looks in incredibly tender. And I'm using the, the bean chow tang, okay, the bean chow charcoal. Okay. Oh, okay. So this one is the most expensive uh, charcoal at Japan. So every good yakitori restaurant, also a lot of chefs like to use this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Best charcoal, and that gives it a better flavor. The best in the world, yeah. Wow. So there's only ten of these every day here. A mm. hundred in Tokyo. Tang? Huh? Yeah. From Tokyo. From yeah. Tokyo. But uh, we can get from other uh, places. Other places. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's just looking incredible. Thank you. Oh, you can just see all of the all of the juices bursting out of it, and it's perfectly grilled. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, it's the texture. It's perfect. It's just slightly springy. Oh. After that amazing Wagyu tongue, we got right into business and began grilling more and more beef. This is when you can start to feast on all the different cuts of the beef, also extremely tender and marbled with the fat just bursting into your mouth. It's like meat, but it's like better meat. Yeah. I don't know how to say it. It's something like better than meat. Yeah. Next up is the skirt. Yes, skirt. The Wagyu skirt. The Wagyu skirt. Wow. Just look at that perfectly cooked skirt. A little bit rare on the inside. Oh, looks just amazing. Oh, it's just so juicy. Skirt. That's why I use a charcoal. Only charcoal can do it. It's so juicy. Wow, and it gets better and better. Each bite has more and more juice. Look at the marbling on this. That is incredible. Sirloin. Mm. Wow. Very thin. Sirloin. Oh, sirloin. Just look at the detail of all that marbling. Oh, it looks so fatty. 
Wow. Oh, that's, that's fast. That is fast. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's just so quick. You just did it so quickly there. Oh, and the marbling in there. Oh, that looks insane. Just go right for it. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. That is just perfect. That is unlike anything you'll ever eat. Oh, it's just like, it's almost just, it's just melting. It's not too strong, the fat. That is very light, right? Very it's light. Water. It just melts like, That's it's like. That's why I have to go to the auction and buy my favorite. It's just like butter. But I'm not like, fatty, right? No, not fatty. It smells. It's just, it's just melting in your mouth. And slightly sweet too. That is. That right there is life changing. <laughs> so this is the specialty. Wagyu cutlet, Wagyu tenderloin cutlet sandwich. Wow. Wagyu cutlet tenderloin. Wow. Look at that. That is insane. Look at the color. Oh. With the beautiful. Pairing. Oh, with the pairing. Mm. Beer. Okay, thank you. Oh, you put a little sauce. sauce. Tomato puree. Tomato puree. Oh, the bread. Look at that. Toasted. Whoa, that is so perfect. Unlike anything you will ever taste. Incredibly soft. The bread, oh, it is just toasted just perfectly. There's a slight, that tomato puree, oh, really gives it a nice, almost slight tanginess, but it is just unbelievably soft. You don't need your teeth. It just melts. How true. How true. How Balance. Yeah. Balance. Thank you very much, Chef Nakahara. Thank you. Very, very amazing. Thank you so much. That beef was absolutely insane, life-changing. And we are barely scratching the surface here in Tokyo. There is such a huge food scene. Everything we've had has just been incredible. I would love to know what you thought about this video in the comments below. And please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Leave me a comment and click that little bell button as well. Thank you so much for watching.